Hey, Little Shy, it's time for Bronies React. Oh, hi, Little Shy. Every React is the same. It's the same weird openings with the same names under people, followed by the same intro and the same reaction format. Oh, no, no. This time it's different. How's that? Well, because this time it's the same weird openings, followed by the same names under people, followed by the same intro and the same reaction format, except this time we're self-aware. But wait a minute. So, which of us is actually in the reaction? There can be only one. I don't remember inviting you to this premiere. Sniper. Oh, hey, it's Gabriel Brown or Black Griffin. Oh, I look tan, you say? Why, thank you, yes, I was just in Hawaii for a, a gig. And the upside is it was super fun. The downside is um, I got my leg all scraped up swimming in some pretty rough water, so now I can't walk. Another upside is that I didn't drown. And a third upside is that I get to watch ponies now. I can't think of a better alternative to walking than watching My Little Pony. I guess you guys like gay horses, then. What are you doing in my house? No! <laughs> ah, 2019. The year that a lot of things end. But, no reason to be sad. We gotta live in the moment and enjoy it. And I'm gonna enjoy this episode. Let's watch the fun. That's right. It's, it's, it's the last season. Season 9 is the last season, and that means this is the last season opener, which is weird. My name is Jillian M. Barrow, and I'm a writer on My Little Pony, and I'm going to watch the season 9 premiere. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the season 9 premiere of My Little Pony, the final season of Generation 4, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. The beginning of the end, the fandom is coming to an end, the world is coming to an end, we're in our apocalypse stuff. Yeah. What the hell are you guys doing? Are you kidding me? I'm wearing actual armor in the apocalypse. I'm not going to wear that half-baked thrift store garbage that I put you into. Wow, I'm fucking going down with this shit. Spark life, fools! This is gonna be a very trying year for us. All of us, here in the fandom. And thus begins the adventure. You have wings, Twilight. Learn from Spike. Yes, well done. Oh good, we're all here. No you're not, where's Starlight Spinkle? Spark, spank, spanker. Avengers Assemble. I was thinking more of Super Smash Brothers. Every pony got an urgent summons to the castle with no explanation? Maybe this is the only way Celestia can get ponies to respond to jury duty. I kind of appreciate how Twilight's just flying in the middle of them in a formation. It's kind of nice. She's taking being an apple too seriously. Love a good mysterious summons. I give Pinky Stash about a... Four seven here. She's done much better. What's in that? You tell me she's not eyeing Dash. Look at that. Why are we running? Better question is, how are you all running and not running out of breath? Because something could be terribly wrong. Some pony turned bad. Another evil creature back for revenge. I'm back off the couch. Being out of ice cream, or yeah. oh, Luna got her hoof stuck in the shower drain again. The yaks clogged up all the fucking drains of Yak Yakistan, and now they're having flooding. They haven't been filmed for a while, so it is. Likely that that's the case. God forbid it actually be something nice. Our regularly scheduled Twilight freakout has come unusually quickly this year. Don't you think you're being a little paranoid? Have you watched this show? I don't think you've watched this show. Considering the last eight seasons, I'd say no, that's not paranoia. Of course you're a bit paranoid, AJ. All that stuff's happened in just the last two seasons. Think of all the stuff you guys have done over the last nine years. Paranoid? Twilight? When has she ever been paranoid? Why else would the princesses send scrolls in such a hurry? Do the scrolls come any faster or slower when Spike vomits them up? I like that all the background ponies are just like, hmm, I don't care. The princess and her friends are running by. Hmm, yes, this is normal. Hmm, hmm. No better than to make us worry. <laughs> you don't know Celestia at all. I like how Spike is flying with his fist out like Superman. Like it when he runs so fast? The walls get on flurry! She's becoming more self-aware. I'm talking double rainbow territory here. They should have made it like a Hanna-Barbera, like Fred Flintstone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, new nightmare. Can you picture Pinkie Pie with the driver's license? Pinkie never changed. I like Rainbow Dash. Nothing's wrong. Everything's perfect. Got him. Oh, you tease. 
You were such a troll. I called it. There was nothing wrong. Ah, uh, yes. I've tried pulling that prank, too. But the 911 operator didn't care for it. Is that a fire alarm? I'm sorry. I gotta get out of here. What? Oh, it's a drill. I kind of miss the old, you know, brooding canterlot voice, Luna. <sighs> Those were the days. Did y'all call us down here just to tell us that? Rude. I'm getting about a half hour sleep every day, and you made me come all the way here to canterlot? Yeah. Princesses always be interrupting. Though due respect, majesties. What the fuck? God damn it, Luna. Save your urgent summons for matters that are a bit more... You know, I gotta give the ponies props for this. Like, just, yeah, uh, we have to teach a class now, all right? Like, I'm a teacher. I can't just leave my students and go do this every freaking time. Y'all calling me out, so I love that. <laughs> there is more to it. Equestria oh, you stupid, stupid peasant ponies. Equestria is currently enjoying its longest period of harmony. And we don't use the word period. I'm a dead geezer. Lightly, since most of us are girls. <laughs> that wasn't that funny. Longest period of harmony? Three whole days without an incident. I'm pretty sure a lot of stuff has gone down in the past couple of years. Looks like they updated the throne room yet again. But okay. All thanks to you, Twilight. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are the other fives? Chopped liver, bread, sliced... nothing? And your friends, of course. And the peasants with you. I almost forgot about your friends, holy <laughs> shit. And your students. Don't forget the students. And your... Slave lizard. Did you notice how long the pause was between It's Because of You, Twilight, and your friends? Who? Us? Oh, not you, Spike. Less and less for us to do. I didn't think it was possible to do less than nothing. They recognize how useless they are. I love this. It is time for us to retire. <gasps> what a twist! And now we will do nothing! <laughs> Retire? The princesses are gonna be even more useless than usual? No! Retire from what? Raising the sun? Eating cake? Cutting ribbons? Because there's less to do, they want to retire, so they have to do even less? That makes no sense. <laughs> they just want to shirk their royal duties. It's a conspiracy, I tell you. Like, what kind of retirement plans are they gonna have? I'm Now I'm curious. Alright, so when they retire, does that mean they're still immortal, you know? Like, do they still get the immortality thing going? Does Twilight get the immortality thing? Does Cadence get the immortality thing? Like, how does that work? How does that work? Have they established those rules yet? Because that is a pretty big thing to say, oh, yep, we retire. Yep. Bye-bye. See ya. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good thousand years. Uh, Y'all, your friends are gonna die. <laughs> do they retire to, like, Florida Mayor golfing? Oh, man, is there, like, golfing shenanigans that are going to come? Oh, I'm so excited. Let's see this retirement shit. Will it be someone tall, dark, and handsome? Or will it be the Lord of Chaos? Did he just diss himself? He really only gave one option there. We got a great guy. He's a fantastic guy, all right? <laughs> Trust me. I know. I know good princesses, okay? Discord right here is, like, me every time somebody above me leaves a job. Um, and I try to get the job. <laughs> Go with the obvious choice. And then Twiggy shat her pants. And here we go. Do you think Twilight's learned after nine seasons that it's okay to say no? Is that a lesson that we learn? Admittedly, Celestia is 99% of the time. Hey, Twilight, here's an issue. You deal with it. And this is kind of the natural conclusion? You know what? I figured it out. Yeah. Celestia actually hates Twilight. She's hated her from the beginning. <laughs> and she's literally set her up. Not, not for, oh, we're going to help grow you as a person. Mm -hmm. She was like, oh, you're one of those annoying introverts that I'm going to just hate. And she's just wanted to screw with her mind every step of the way. My little pony, my little pony. Uh we only have to hear this 26 more times. My little pony, 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 my little pony. Be honest, you'll miss this opening when it's gone. My little pony, 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 my little pony. I've skipped the intro so many times now that I, watching this now, <laughs> there are parts like, oh, I didn't know that was part of the intro now. My little pony, my little pony, my little pony. How many was that? Like seriously here, I like how they kept developed for television by Lauren Faust there throughout the whole show. Like she deserves her credit even though she's not part of it anymore.
Princesses can retire? No. Work for the Emperor of Japan. They become queens. Maybe a trip to Silver Shoals. Ooh, that last line sounded a lot like rarity. Silver Shoals? That's... That's not on this map. Luna, you were in timeout for over a thousand years. Why are you retiring? Her voice sounds a little weird here. That's all I... It just doesn't sound right. Maybe she's just... Maybe she's happy she's finally getting that break. Mm -hmm. I love Joanna and Christine. They're so good. We can't think of any pony more worthy. Gaidens with shining armor? Oh, they don't deserve it. Over the years, we've watched you grow. You've come such a long, long way. And I've watched you from that very first day to see how you might grow, to see what you might do, to see what you've been through, and all the ways you've made me proud of you, Twilight. Face task after task, challenge after challenge. A mayonnaise jar after mayonnaise jar. We get it. Someone salty. Yes, that's right. After all this time, I was cultivating you to be my successor. Um, do you know, is it crass for me to say that at this point? Does it mean that I'm, that we're ready to do what you do? Nice catch, Twilight. Twilight, you overestimate Celestia's workload. We don't do anything. I go dibs on chewing up in every pony's dreams. Dreams? More like nightmares with that face. She already does. I do not want Rainbow Dash monitoring my dreams or collecting my taxes, period. No. No, Dash. Step into their horseshoes just like that. Horseshoes? Yeah. You sometimes forget their horses. We always have Equestria's best interest at heart. We always have Equestria's <laughs> Except when you don't. Consideration when we have a roundtable discussion. Isn't that copyright sword in the stone? I'm in. Instead of a dark lord, you shall have a dark <laughs> we need a complete wardrobe update. Because what they're currently wearing is unacceptable. And by that I mean they're not wearing anything. Fabulous is now mandatory. Rarity, can you think about something other than dresses? One, two, three. No. I guess I am too. Peer pressure, yeah! yeah right. Peer pressure! <laughs> Peer pressure is magic. Protectors of the Quadria! Contractors in the Quadria. Wait, I forgot. Yeah. We'll be the bestest. Just need a few days to put together a little ceremony. Have you met Pinkie Pie? It's that easy. Dang, Celestia, you're dissing yourself now. It's that easy to replace them? We're just gonna have you sign some few paperwork, all right? We'll get the leasing office in on this. Don't worry, it'll be quick. Why haven't we replaced them, like, Seasons ago! They are in such a hurry to transfer everything to Twilight. It's downright suspicious. Maybe they owe some overdue mortgage on that castle Twilight doesn't know about. You should know that Twilight's not going to receive this well. She's a person who panics, a person who needs time. Yeah. And for Luna and Celestia to step down that quickly, I don't like that. I yeah. Not, uh, <laughs> and, and Twilight knows from Starlight that they're, they're terrible. A few days! That's me on a deadline. Scaring the little girl? Last weeks? No, months if not years! I love the music there. I love how it emphasizes everything she's saying. You need a montage! Everything you've gone through over the years has been a training program. Twilight, go make friends. She's actually just getting trained to replace me eventually! Twilight, you want to be princess of everyone someday? No? No, not you? You don't have a choice! How to rule Equestria by No Pony Make Pretend Smith. No Pony Make Pretend Smith is Discord's OC. Now available on Amazon.com. I've read all his books. Can I get a copy of that? They're great. Better guide than any we could provide. That's not a guidance to how to rule a country. No, it's not. <laughs> there is literally nothing in there about raising taxes, using a budget, doing military. Do they have a military? They got, they got a military and it just doesn't do shit. Isn't that the same book that was circulated and sold to people? Yeah, it was! So that book's being provided to people who can now learn to request <laughs> themselves. <laughs> Her mouth looks like a peanut. They're really taking advantage of some hentai audio clips for this episode. In you, and we hope you'll have the same in yourself. Luna! Use your eyes! It's hyperventilating! Oh, yeah. When I have an asthma attack, you're gonna be like, what's there? That's hot! <laughs> Her lungs are going to explode! Are you enjoying Twilight's freak out? Yes, you are! I am not confident about this at all! Yeah, she's right! Like, just because you know how to give someone a cutie mark doesn't mean you know how to do... 
taxes or whatever princesses do. Actually, I don't know. He was being sarcastic before. Discord is using a dingle hopper. Dingle hopper. Dingle hopper. It's not the little mermaid. Come on now. Sarcasm's a smell, right? Sarcasm. The last refuge of modest and chaste-souled people when the privacy of their soul is coarsely and intrusively invaded. Uh, clearly, Dostoevsky never met Discord. This is all so predictable. Hey, point out cliches is the fandom's job. You're a little bit late to the analysis craze. And there's still so much to figure out. I like how Applejack put Twilight in her high chair. I like AJ's all-knowing look on her face. Did you, Twilight, need to sit in her high chair and have some wawa? Oh, you're the jelly bean. You remember back in season two when Twilight only freaked out uh, once and it was actually funny and the rest of the time she was kind of level-headed? Yeah. Twilight right, burps right. taste like burritos. Yes. Yeah. And here's our Twilight. I'll feel much better. Once you make a plan. Oh, wow. It's like you knew you were going to react this way. I actually really like how they are, you know, have basically exposed how obvious their formulaic formula is. Classic Twilighting. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's funny. Because it's like... It's they're basically bad. doing the Bronies React we for us because it's like, we call it, it's like nine seasons of the same crap. I love this. I love this so far. I prefer Twilight Nanas. Twilighting sounds so much better than Twilight Nanazing. Pinky's face looks really cute. Though. Yeah. Pink Pinky's like one of the cutest bunnies. And I'm wearing a shirt. You're wearing a shirt? Whoa. Paleo's wearing a shirt. You made me a verb? It's perfect. How long do you think they've been saying that behind her back? This show is just way too meta for its own good. We just know you have a process. Psychosis. I mean process. See, that's real friendship. Real friendship is when you know your friend's gonna be a dumbass and re into the sunset, and you're like, just have your moment, honey. We'll still be here. You're all acting so calm. Why are they so calm? It's like they knew ahead of time this was going to happen. Oh, you know what? They probably saw the Discovery Family promos. That's it. What do we do if something big happens and the princesses aren't there to help? Then everyone in the country dies! Fucking chill! If you think about it, they literally almost never help. Huh. Oh! Not at that! This is why you're my favorite rainbow dash! Burn! I mean, we all knew it was coming, but burn! Oh, arch. Thank you for saying that. Thank you! People have gotten mad at us for saying that. Now Rainbow Dash said it. So what you gonna do, you little naysayers? Rainbow Dash called it out. Anyone who has a problem with Rainbow Dash can suck a dick. Rainbow Dash, I'm about to end this man's whole career. <laughs> RD, honey, you are my spirit animal for this episode! Okay, it's getting pretty meta up in here. Holy shit, okay. Which one's the real you? Was that Lauren's plan from the beginning? Was that one of the longest played out jokes that they've ever had? When Kira came back and absorbed all the magic, or the other time Crystal's tried to take over, or with Cozy Glow in the school! <gasps> Am I missing anything? Pony of Shadows. Starlight when she was evil. Discord when he was evil. Blowing up the Rainbow Factory? <laughs> Continuity. This is just too much meta humor at once. Dang it, you ponies gotta spread this out. A, a concentrated dose is dangerous for a nitpicker's health. Season 2 opener, season 2 finale, season 3 opener. Is that everything? What about the Storm King? Do Flim and Flam count? The only hardship Applejack has had is Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Am I right? I'm right. Under certain circumstances, they nearly killed Equestria, so, yeah. I guess uh, this episode started off so great, because it's just like, oh yeah, we fought these guys. Wait, do, do Flip and Flam count as bad guys? Because we fight them every season. <laughs> I love this. Oh god, this is the fastest I've fallen in love with the episode watching this season. I love it. See? What is it with Dash and these close-up faces? Which makes sense now, because it was all just training for you to take over. Yes, that's the reason. Plus, feels like this might kill us all, but it's worth it in the long run if it works out. There hasn't been a single villain that we couldn't defeat. Foreshadowing much? I love that they fade to Chrysalis after that boast, because they've never really defeated her. There's never been a villain we couldn't defeat. Hello, it's me, Chrysalis again! We'll defeat Twilight Sparkle and her friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that face is a mood. It's the nastiest Twilight. It almost stops the processes. <laughs> You're telling me that Chrysalis forgot Starlight like the movie did.
Chrysalis's log, star date one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's so sad. Huh, there's a volleyball with a bloody hoof print on it. She was making little armies out of the stumps. What the Stump? I don't remember Angry Beavers. Oh, uh, yeah. Whoa. T Rex. It is Lord T Rex. Captain T Rex, if you please. He's all tiny. My best friend's rock sculpture from over there. Very well made. It shows my dominance over your soul. The hell did you get all those rocks? Where'd you get those colors? Uh oh, did someone just snap their fingers? One ring to rule them all. Wait, could it be? M, A, L, A again, R, S, O, N. What could it mean? Mitch Larson! Oh my god, he's back! The edgy boy! Samba baby! Lord Tyrek! I haven't seen you since high school! How are you doing? <laughs> you still failing at all your evil plans? Me too! <laughs> Why did you summon me? What do you want? Chrysalis without a minions just sounds like a bratty teenager. I will win! Ah! Wait. Ah! Blah! Oh, golly! My opinion on people who say golly remains unchanged. I thought you freed us from Tartarus. That face. That's a face. <laughs> face you make when you thought you let out a fart, but it turns out wetter than it actually was. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most flamboyant laughter I've ever heard. A little orb looks like a palantir from Lord of the Rings. Goat eye palantir from Lord of the Rings. Oh. It's yeah. the evil of minus son because math is evil. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a goat eye. Which is also pretty damn cool. Yeah. There's his horn. The one surviving piece from Wow. wow. King Sombra, you have returned. He came for the crystals. King, Queen, Lord. Cozy really needs a title. Jester? This is turning into one cracky ass fanfic. Real talk, Gabe. That should have played right there, bro. Marketing, cross promotion, bro. Come on! He didn't. Of course he didn't. He did nothing in the season three opener. Who's this? Darth Maul the Bearded. I am the great mighty Pooh. <laughs> Jingle bells. Kind of like a reindeer or something. They're yeah. magical talisman stuffers. No. <laughs> Entirely different. That looks like a reindeer collar like you'd see on Santa's sleigh. Santa's the main villain of this episode. Is he supposed to be like Krampus? I don't, because I, I know in the G1 iteration of him, there was bells. It was I. <laughs> I. I think he's within the event horizon of that black hole. Grogar. Oh no, it's Grova. Hello, it is me, Grover. Isn't this the guy that Sabres Park said that? I think the first year I met him yeah. in 2012, he'd like, oh, it'd be cool if this yeah. guy ever showed up. Well, well guess what? what? Guess what? what? 2012 Sabres Park, I have news for you, little buddy. You've been validated, you son of a bitch. I wonder if 2012 Sabres Park would realize he would be an even bigger nerd than he was. I've heard of you. Who? I'm an e-celebrity. Who? I am very real. You can touch me if you don't b And you have all been brought here as part of my plan. Burn everybody back. And now you're dead. I will kill you. No, wait, no. I mean, you're my friends because I'm talking to the bad guys. To rid Equestria of Twilight Sparkle and her friends. He just sounds like a really pissed off grandpa. This is the blue goat Thanos of Equestria, isn't it? Those damn Twilight Sparkles gotta get off my lawn. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom... If my name no longer strikes fear into the heart of one so tiny... Nah, nah, nah. Cozy's just a crazy pony who's incapable of emotion, including fear. I'm actually a big fan of his design. Perhaps a demonstration of power is in order? By that, I mean give Tyrek his, his complete design, because he looks kind of wimpy like this next to everybody else. Try incineration. I'd recommend Cozy Glow. I am loving this episode so much so far. All right, I love when villains team up with each other. That is like one of my favorite little tropes that happens when they just like decide, oh, we're finally going to team up. And I've been waiting for 
for that. I called this. I remember I called this in one of the earlier episodes. I don't remember which one, but I said, like, oh, they need to come back, and they all need to come up and attack together. So this is just dope. This is just so sick. I love this. I love this. I love the fact that we got Grogar in there. This is raw. Inside out. Had a very shiny collar. So his bells are like steroids. Okay. Why is he so small? <laughs> Wasn't he the size of a building the last time we saw him in this form? I bet he watches Tough Like the Tunes, Ajax Blade. Yeah, my man Terry, he knows the game, you know. Yeah, just show those babies off. What do you want to bet he poses in the bathroom like Spike? He declared himself emperor of all he saw. Can I just declare myself empress of everything I see? I have also heard of the first emperor of Equestria. What was that voice? What is this voice for Sombra? Maybe he just had a sore throat the first time he attacked. It's weird hearing Sombra with a voice. Oh, shit, he talked! He said more than fucking one word! Father of monsters. Who was the mother? Come here, lover boy! My reign was a glorious, fear-soaked epoch of darkness in Equestria. I have one of those things, too. Ooh. It is I, Grogar, the fear-soaked epoch of darkness, who unleashed an unspeakable evil. Then, a foolish pony, wielding a magic horn, stepped forth to oppose me. Epoch. A period of time in history or a person's life, typically one marked by notable events or particular characteristics. Admit it, you were all wondering it too. Gusty the Great rose up and banished you. To the Wikimobile! <laughs> it's actually a G1 pony voiced by Nancy Cartwright, known for playing Bart Simpson. Yay for useless information! How cool would it be if there's like, the first alicorn? He's the one who makes my legs sound like flutes! He's the what? What? Oh, because he's wind. No, because her legs have holes in them. Right. Oh, and he's, he's dusty. That fool believed taking my bell would defeat me. So he is Krampus! I knew the bells were important. So I guess you could say they were saved by the bell. <laughs> then one foggy hearth swarming eve, Gusty the Great came to say. I am taking your magical bells and flying far away. T-Rick is really old. No offense, you look great. I'm taking. Children can be so cruel. We have super different ideas about what temporarily means. Silence! Kid, you are just tempting Darwinism. The priest of Koozie Glow against T-Rex chest. <laughs> this is like every time I'm hanging out with like Clara Corlett or something and I forget that she's so much younger than me and I'm like, why don't you know about this thing? And then I just feel like I'm like a thousand years old. I've seen each of your humiliating defeats at the hooves of six puny ponies. Pathetic! Say it! Don't spray it! Puny ponies. Hey, Tyrk's defeat was hardcore. And then seven, and also a dragon that I don't acknowledge. In other words, Grogar has a Netflix subscription and he's watched all the seasons. Because they cheat. <laughs> you don't get to talk, Sombra. No one wants to hear you talk. Oh, dude, I lost my game of Fortnite. What, what happened? Because they cheat. Because they are annoyingly lucky. Epic gamer moment. Because they are the protagonists. <laughs> Unified, they are a formidable force. The creation of the Axis power is 1940. <laughs> Do you mean to imply that friendship is magic? Is this good friendship versus evil friendship? We shall use their own strategy to defeat them. Do you guys use my space? What are you suggesting? Oh my gosh, are you that stupid? Join me, and together, Equestria will be ours. This is like a college project. When you get like put together on a freaking team and it always ends up with one fucking person doing all the work. I only do my play the season three open and just again. Like my manicure time. I will take There's no I in team. Well, except for the I sitting there on the table. I will destroy any pony who gets in my way. You went from not saying shit to never shutting the fuck up. He's got such a cartoony voice. I can't take him seriously. He's completely different. Sorry sounds like a punk right now. Like, I, I I just never imagined that voice for him. Such confidence. Why is he so confident anyway? He was really bad before it. When you fail, you will submit to me. And if I refuse this deal? 
then the power of my eyebrows will destroy you. And I will take away your sideburn. Holding up a pair of clippers. <laughs> he just got him right the fuck out of there. Even Grogar doesn't want to listen to him. Yep, that globe is definitely giving him the evil eye. Because I know all about that. Why do I like her so much? She's adorable. A little anime pose where she's like, Bleh. She's brilliant, but she still has the naive, like, childish idea of, Oh, if you make friends, then you're powerful. <laughs> T-Rex like, get the fuck off me, you weeb. I am loving this dynamic. You know what I want. <laughs> Thanks. Why? We've come a long way since they've had to introduce every character's full name in every episode. Any nicknames, it's so cute. No, I didn't. Oh. That looks like when I get home from CVS and I have my receipts. Bretha, my plan needs a plan stage of a total Twilight meltdown. Do we have to have an intervention? I think being told suddenly, hey, you're gonna run an entire empire, it's probably a good time when you should be like, I don't think I'm prepared for this. Twilight is 500% justified in being extremely panicked. I write down eliminate redundant lists on my school of friendship to-do list. Starlight, you're still on my to-kill list. Oh good, you're here. Now kiss. I had talked to Starlight written down on one of these. Just let me find it so I can cross it off. Sometimes I'll write down really simple stuff on my to-do list just so I can cross it off. Sometimes I'll write it like after even I've done it just so I can cross it off. So I get it. Starlight, you have blossomed into one of the strongest, smartest, most caring ponies I know and I can't think of any pony better to leave in charge of my castle in the school of friendship. So what do you think? That's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Twilight, honey, taken out of van. That was so heartfelt. I love it. I'm gonna miss this show. Remember what happened the last time you left me in charge? When I killed Discord? <laughs> oh my god, she's starlighting so hard right now. Do the right things! <laughs> oh, bravo! <laughs> You've got this. Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, da, forever. You've got this. We've got this. We've got this together! See what I did there? You just said everything you need to hear. Wow. Buzzing. That is some grade A manipulation right there. She was faking. I knew it. I freaking knew it. I knew it. She's the best. Okay, I know Grogar's in this, but Starlight really is the goat. Classic reverse psychology there on us. Starlight. It all plays back into my headcanon that Starlight's like a sociopath for good, and Cozy Glow's a sociopath for evil. <laughs> it's hentai. Like, it's... It's hyperventilation. She's having a panic attack. It's not sexy. It's distressing. Oh, ho. Crystal Empire guards are not playing. Crystal guards at least can throw spears. About as well as a stormtrooper. The screens are inside the goggles. And now they are stormtroopers. Congratulations, you're the new Cabal. I really like the aesthetic of that armor. That, I mean, that's just the edgelord in me though talking. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm better than ever. Making stairs as you walk up the stairs is pretty cool. He guards his sombras breach the castle. We could have met him in the street, but that would require effort. We twilight, we need you. Celestia would be so proud. Do you have flurry heart? Who? Who? Oh. I totally forgot about her. She really hasn't been in that many episodes lately. I thought you had her. <gasps> Bad parenting. Are you too good at anything? <laughs> her first words. I was like, no, wait, wait. Maybe this is a good thing. Cadence is about to rip out King Sombra's throat with her teeth. Yeah, you won't get away with this. Oh, but I already have. Everybody says that. Everybody says that. That's not original. You, you, I mean, I guess you've been away for a while. I know this is the wrong time to ask this question, but what is that picture up there? What a cute little child that I just kidnapped. She tries to bite him. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> what was the octave of that laugh? It sounded like it started off. <laughs> Kneel before Sombra. That's so sad. Kneel! Yeah, yeah, kneel before Zod joke, yeah. Flurry Heart bows before no pony. Why would you connect them by their mouths? Because I like the aesthetic. <laughs> okay. Now call me daddy. Long live the king. I'm getting serious Game of Thrones vibes here. Game of Thrones edition. <laughs>
Aiden sent an emergency message. Sombra's back, and he's taking over the Crystal Empire. We could have done more to resist him, but let's be honest, it's your show. Kaden sent message from Crystal Empire. Stop. Sombra came back. Stop. Shit's all fucked up. Stop. I thought the Crystal Heart had dispelled him into the ether. What is this for? The Dark in? World? <laughs> oh, is that what happened? <laughs> totally dispelled. Expelled into the ether sounds nicer. Ooh. Good point. That is a horrifying image of his head. No. One of us should probably loop in the real rulers of Equestria. Sick burn, Discord. We'll need to handle things like this on our own. They're not dead. End to the throne like the princess. That was kind of cool, actually. <laughs> yeah. See, I would love to see that version of Twilight. Game of Thrones the Twilight just sitting there. <laughs> It was like, oh, I killed the two princesses. Unless you'd consider taking care of Sombra for us? That's what Sally and Luna do! Would you like to be our deus ex machina, aka Captain Marvel? How to handle these things on your own. No, 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 no. Graduation, $10,000. Go solve the problem. What fucking school have you ever been to? They're like, congratulations, you graduated, here's money. <laughs> well, that's her student debt. Ah, <laughs> uh... uh, no, 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 you didn't need the elements the last time you defeated Sombra. Discord's like, don't you even watch the show? Yeah, but leaving the elements behind last time was pretty stupid. In Discord, we do the React stuff, all right? We bring up the, oh, you didn't use it last time, not you. Stop it, you're putting us out of a job. I actually kind of like that shower curtain. That'd be cute. Someone should make that. Not sure that using them still counts as handling things on your own. Yeah, my third grade teacher told me that I wouldn't be able to just rely on my calculator all the time. And they weren't correct. Are we really going to do this again? Like, proving yourself is more important than saving countless lives. My family is in danger. I'm not taking any chances. Which is why I still won't even as much as notify Celestia and Luna. No, we're not going to do this again. Thank you, Twilight, for becoming altruistic. Your Twilight Sparkle discovered empathy. You stay here and take care of the school? I is it just me, or did, did her voice turn into Starlight right there? I've got you covered. Did it because books have covers. I'm the king of the ponies, oh, the Empire VIP. I reached the top and had to stop, and that's what's bothering me. Now I wanna be a pony man, a pony man like you. I don't know. Are those thunder grapes? Oh, whoopie doo. Ooby -doo. I wanna rule over you. Ooby -doo -ooby -doo. I wanna capture you, Ooh. enslave you, Ooh. too. Ooby doo. Flurry Heart craves blood. Cavalry's here! Tra tracer? I'm already Tracer! Wouldn't technically all of the military be cavalry? Yes. What would an equestrian cavalry look like? The only known photo of a horse riding another horse. That's... that's pretty good. How can I be surprised? <laughs> How can I be surprised? Oh, there's Twilight's real greatest fear. A layering problem. Bye. God, we're picky. Yeah, so Sombra is Scarlet Witch. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. A flurry heart that looks adorable. Okay, but where are the ladybugs and cheesy quesadillas? Your worst nightmares, everyone being in the BDSM? How disappointing. You became as useless as we were! Is that really her biggest fear that those two turn into the like ultimate mega evil bitch form? It's cute that you think that'll do anything. Oh, McFlurry is ready for war. My daughter will destroy you all. I love how shining armor doesn't even do anything. He just sicks his baby on him. Flurry heart is the best. Deja vu feeling. Man, I love rewatching <laughs> MLP episodes. Ooh, ooh, who likes animation errors? I like animation errors. This pony is masked as if she still has the shard in front of her. No, I don't get invited to parties. Why do you ask? Hooray, he's dead. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Was that like a two minute mini version of the season three opener? What the hell? Well, that was a good premiere. Shorter than I thought. Yeah! <laughs> we 
we murdered someone! Oh, sorry, dispelled. Is nobody going to ask why Sombra was back? He died last time. This is an interesting two-parter because if we weren't aware of the second part of the plan, it would seem like it was over. Yeah, sorry, Cadence, you don't get to be fierce. Like daughter, like mother, Cadence was ready to kill. Do not piss off Cadence. Magical battles go, that was a cakewalk. That went by so fast, I'm not even sure what happened. You know they've done this several times before when they make jokes about it immediately afterward, rather than try to reflect on the fact that their world almost ended. Cakewalk. <laughs> oh my, Pinky, no honey. Pinky! Glove, white, white glove. Not where Kate goes. Come on. Like she's not even trying this episode. If Pinky's moonwalking in cakes, do you think that those are moon cakes? Cakewalk. I still don't feel like I'm 100% ready. That was a neat angle. I don't think we, or maybe we have, but I don't think we've seen that low, uh, like, underneath angle of the ponies before. Will I ever? Knowing you. Nope. <laughs> Together, we've never failed. Wait a minute. Last season you said... We failed. Once again, Equestria is safe. And once again, the day is saved! Thanks to the Powerpuff Girls! Thanks to the Powerpuff Girls! I vote for a cakewalk! Pinky, you already did a cakewalk. We just saw it. Well, that was a pretty good season opener. It was a lot shorter than I expected, but what can I say? There, what a twist! <gasps> Our fine China! Holy shit, they destroyed the elements! The infinity stones, no! Someone get this boy a freaking golden horseshoe or something like that, because he is pulling all the Thanos shit out of his ass. <laughs> I am inevitable. That's the rope easily. Yeah. You could just break them this whole time? This show is going dark fast, <laughs> holy fuck. I'm surprised nobody tried that before. If the elements were a character in the show, they would be more abused than Spike. The elements of Harmony are destroyed. Darn it. It's a bummer. So maybe Sombra can do it on his own? <laughs> Wait for it. I am Thimbledore. When I snap all of my fingers, I will destroy half the fandoms. Because reasons! Oh no! Watch out! It's Thermos. He's gonna snap his fingies. And apocalypse the fandom. Revengers, assemble. Oh! Yay! It's Twilight. Oh, he's dead. So, uh, what happened to Fluttershy? Piece of armor over there in the pile of ash. He didn't snap. Yeah, she threw that ash at me and told me she was done and she didn't want to do it anymore. Second verse, same as this verse, but a little bit louder and a little more worse. <laughs> I'm sorry, freak is what I thought of something funny. He thought of a really funny joke and he just kept laughing. His laugh gets higher every time he does it. By the end of the show, he's gonna be. Oh my gosh, dude! Sombra's laugh is oddly contagious. You know, that cape billow of his is really just due to gas. He's gonna give himself a hernia. <laughs> That's like Green Lantern without his ring. That's like Spider-Man without his spider senses. It's like you take- That's like me without cussing! What the fuck does this- What are they gonna do now? What just happened? Did you not pay attention to the previously on? Can't be. I'm so scared. I think I need something to hug. Oh. It's a puzzle, right? You're gonna need a lot more super glue. Sorry, half hit rock like this. The element's gone. I don't know how we can defeat him. What did you do last time the elements were destroyed by a villain? <laughs> Just have to beat him the old fashioned way. That sounds good too. It'll never work, Dash. You don't have Flurry Heart's bloodlust. Put up your guns. <laughs> oh, let's get ready for Dumbo! Guys, I think she's getting Princess Itis. 
She just doesn't want to do it. What, did you try it again? I love how Twilight's not only literally defeated, but also like emotionally defeated here. The way she's just sitting in the back trying to put the pieces back together. It's heartbreakingly adorable. <laughs> Hey look, Twilight really is a princess. She's useless. You're no match for me. Wait a second, isn't Sombra just like a regular unicorn with a freaking metal horn? I, I still don't see how Alicorn Twilight can't just bust his ass open. I will rule all of Equestria! No! Think big, Sombra. He's not intimidating. Your sweet little hometown. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he says the wrong hometown. You leave Ponyville alone! You idiot! Oh, well, thanks a lot, Rarity. Now he knows where you live. I was gonna say Las Pegasus. <laughs> but... Aha! You've been japed. You don't know where my hometown is. You leave Ponyville alone! Rarity! You tell him, Rarity. Leave Brittany alone! That'll do it. Wow, that was a throwback. <laughs> But there's no point. Another classic villain blunder. Ah, that's a flag. You put up a defeat flag. His terrible voice has gone into his brain and made him stupid. You have the ability to take your chances of victory from 90% to 100%. Now's the time Lost can say her I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going joke. <laughs> Sombra transformed into Ghastly. I never thought I'd mess up this badly. I did. This is usually when you say something funny to lift our spirits. Your comedic relief. Come on. That's a heavy burden to carry. She's the smartest one. I don't care what anyone says. Get on the ball, Pinky! Know your place! Sorry. Nothing about this is funny to me. Well, shit. I feel like I'm gonna cry. Sweet little cake twins! Or Spike! Or Starlight! Or Scootaloo! What about Scootaloo? Who's that? Scootaloo, though, because, like... It's like Raven Dash completely forgets her name. Not the Sofas and Quills guy. <laughs> not, not the person who runs my fan club. Someone thought of Spike, and it was Rainbow Dash. I'm telling you she's the best character. <laughs> Twilight just shit on Apple Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Projectile shit. Twilight, what are you doing? Look, we're gonna be here a while. We need a toilet. Eventually one of us is gonna have to shit, and you're gonna thank me for this. I don't have a plan, and I don't know what I'm gonna do once we get out. She's going in without a plan. Funny how Twilight seems really calm about this. This is the character development I've wanted since, like, season four. Like, this is fucking amazing. Let me help. I'm faster. She's faster than you know. If only they, there were some of them who had wings who could fly up and out that big hole in the top. Behold the Underminer! That whole mane is just magic! Drill hair. Classic. Show me the money! <clears throat> Sombra didn't think of that, did he? No. That's amazing. I think this might be the perfect time for a little coffee break. <gasps> Look at me, sugar cube! Oh, that's not brainwashing, that's adolescence. They never listen. This episode is so raw, you guys. Fuck. My magic isn't strong enough to stop Sombras. Really? Starlight? We must lay siege to Canterlot. That's now two times Starlight has been put in distress. Can we put her in the not OP category now? Do you think he could make the eye lights go on and off real quick and have a rave? That's sweet. <laughs> Can't get him to stop! Again, it's adolescence. And still no sign of Scootaloo. This is a pretty intense scene for My Little Pony. Just when you think there would normally be some form of comedic relief or something, it hits you again. Very punch in the background is being haunted by sobriety. It's the ugliest king I've ever seen! <laughs> Pinky is getting upset over the right things. Oh, you haven't seen me bake. That was a great line. Andrea, you should win some kind of award. You're fantastic. <laughs> okay, there's the comedic relief. I'm, I'm glad Pinky still has her priorities in order. Everything's so sad in my whole life. I don't know, I think you're pretty sad during the movie, I think. Could anything else possibly go wrong? You jinxed it. How could it go wrong or tempt fate much, Twilight? Surely a lot more will go wrong now. I know your situation's fucked, so now I'm gonna add another layer of fucked on top of it. I like how the first six minutes of this episode is Everything's going wrong! That's going wrong! Oh no! That's also wrong! Uh-oh! <gasps> it's just that vine girl. I've got this! I love that Rainbow kept the axe for herself. Applejack's like, bring me the shovel. What's a rake gonna do? For our friends, 
for our families, for our home, for Equestria! For Frodo. Equestria! For Narnia and for Aslan! Oh, we're doing this now, I guess. Forget about that army marching on the capital. We've got gardening to do. Seems a little weird to fight for mere possessions in Ponyville when their friends are in danger in Canterlot, but okay. You opted to use a rake over laser beams? Are they going to opening ceremonies right now? Oh no, I see Derpy. <laughs> He's got Derpy, guys. Forget Ponyville, save Derpy. <laughs> Little Pony Dark, come blow those horns. Now we can't do anything. <laughs> the guards are just as useless as the princesses. He has destroyed our kazoos. Our horns are useless. Well, they're Pegasus. I mean, they had horns to blow. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I do like the fact that Big Mac is still like the tank of the group. Jeez, Big Mac is really that strong. Did he like... <laughs> like a bouncy ball? I gotta say, I'm loving Sombra's mind control gimmick here. Because using ponies we know and love as the weapons is not only effective, but incredibly unsettling. <laughs> Happy for you, bud. Happy for you. Good. Kick some grass. This should be your fucking element, honey. Wait, since when has Rarity been able to shoot lasers? That's simultaneously concerning and awesome. She dropped the rake immediately. Why did you even pick it up? Oh my god, I'm adding an axe to my cosplay. That'll be awesome. Coming soon, Rainbow Dash and Swy became an axe murderer. Come on, every pony. Well, they're not ponies. ponies. Yeah. Every creature. God damn it, Fluttershy. I can't tell you how happy I am to hear every pony is still a word. We've been at this for hours, but it's just growing back too fast. We have to keep trying! Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? We gotta stop the vines! Rake! Rake! Devil's snare. Yes! <laughs> they're gonna do something! Right, finally, eight seasons later. Oh my god, they're actually doing something. Maybe they should have retired a long time ago. They, they retire, they actually do something. And for the first time in the show's history, the princesses do something useful. Ooh. It's a ruse. The whole reason this episode was written just to just was to justify the princesses existing so that they could save them for once. Ever. Ever. No pony is meant to handle this on their own. Wait, so was he eavesdropping or did he plan on saying that all along? Besides, I'd never miss a chance to condescend towards you. Now shut up, I don't like you. I know I could have been doing things for a long time now, but... Mm. General Washington, the British military is here. They're going to destroy the colonies. Hold on, I must trim the hedges. I alerted the princesses as soon as I could. So the princesses weren't going to be helpful until Star Swirl told them to be. I take back my glorious choir singing awe. I felt it when it happened. Like part of my essence just ceased to be. I felt a great disturbance in the force. Like six rocks fell on the ground. As if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror. Like thousands of little gems suddenly cried out in terror. As if millions of friendships cried out and then were suddenly silenced. I really hope before the season ends that they just show how strong they are and then Celestia like throws the sun at like a villain or something like that. Like that would be dope. Star Swirl has bells too. What is going on? <laughs> and now Ponyville will have a moat. I would rip on Ponyville for building their entire village right next to a dangerous forest, but we have Florida. We have can't allow defenseless. Darn it, and the one time we actually tried being useful. Twilight can just teleport, like, the entire gang now, like it's nothing. Twilight has gotten really good at teleporting. It's like winter is here. That is horrifying, that fucking thousand yard stare from every pony. What if Sombra just won? What was his end plan? Just like, and now everybody looks evil. I win. Sombra's gonna force us to fight our way through our friends? Like I said earlier, this is such an amazing premise. Don't find a way to ruin this, Hasbro. Not if I can help it! Get the axe, Dash! Stop. 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 Man, being a Wonderbolt sucks. Stop. Stop. You can't get around us. You, there's no way. Nope. Zombie Wonderbolts. Stop. No other direction you can go. Stop. They're establishing dominance. You might as well just fuck off. There's no sky left. Yeah. Everybody has lasers now? You get a laser and you get a laser. I'm not prepared to fight against the citizens of Equestria. Maybe you should sing a song about it. I wasn't prepared for it. We're running past you. 
What are they running towards? We promise we'll let y'all out as soon as we can. Two weeks later. Look, I like how they're still running. Why aren't the unicorns just breaking it with their magic? Except for you, Bon Bon. You stole Applejack five bits. <laughs> She's got the Han Solo methods of evasion, drifting lazily to the left. I friendship it. I don't know if this is the captives resisting, but their aim is terrible. What do we do, Twilight? Play Goofy Goober Rock from the Spongebob movie, because this is the exact situation Spongebob is in, and that's how he won. Why didn't you just do that in the first place? Why didn't you just do that five minutes ago? Why were you out there to begin with? A bit of a pickle, or are you in more of a jam? I get it. Okay, normally I'm a big fan of puns, but if you can conjure anything from existence, then there's not a lot of wit involved. Mm. Is Discord pregnant? Oh, gross. Oh, come on, man. That's nasty. I knew he was gonna dip that pickle into the jam. Ugh. Yum, 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 yum. Your coronation, but apparently it's a bit premature. I love him. <laughs> You're fantastic. He's so incredibly jealous of Twilight and he is not going to help at all to prove a point, which is just hilarious. Like, I would be mad at other characters who are altruistic and kind for doing that because it wouldn't be in line with their character, but Discord is Discord. Ah, yeah, poodles! Ah, oh, poodles! <gasps> well, I never! Discord, please! I'm howling at the moon! It's like a level 100 character, but you know, you're like level 10 character. Yeah. Well, he got creamed. Ice cream attack is the best attack. Discord is... Insanely OP. I don't know what we do without you. Probably die, I guess. What was that? Don't make that look, Discord. You're not going anywhere, right? They should make Discord the seventh member. See, everybody thought it was going to be Sunset Shimmer, but Discord, he should be it. Sombra's just doing some redecorating, don't mind him. Decorating? Like, what's he even doing? A little crystal here, and that's spiky, and that's spiky. And I put rocks here, and I think I'll put rocks here. It could use more gray rocks. Dang it, Sombra, we just remodeled the throne room. <laughs> you can't defeat me, I've got the high ground. <laughs> See, I love this. I love the fact that, like, there are some villains who are just so OP that it's just like, yeah, you're nothing to me, kid. Like, let me just do this. Like, Discord freaking just like, yeah, you nothing. Out of here. Weak shit, boss. Weak shit. I love this. I love this so much. It is so great. And I do hate being wrong. And all the ponies say he's butterfly for a dracon eye. I love Discord so much. He's so powerful, but he just is totally nonchalant about it. What an awesome character. Fluttershy should get most of the credit for that. She's my favorite. We all know what that means. That statement is beyond reproach. <laughs> that flutter cord nod. <laughs> what you say? Oh, that you only <laughs> jumped in front of her. I'm actually pretty concerned about Discord. Yeah, they're totally a thing now. I like him. He better be trolling. Faker. Faker! If this isn't a troll, then that was pretty pathetic. Get up, you big phony! This is a troll. I'm 100% sure. I haven't seen this episode, but I know that's not what Discord does. You know what this is? You know what this is? Uh, brain expansion time. Discord is like, you have to do it on your own, and then they do it on their own, and then Discord proves, like, aha, you did it on your own, and I didn't need to help you, and I totally could have this whole time. There's no way. There's no way that's not what happened. Not even the Lord of Chaos can stand against me. Not even the Lord of Chaos can stand against me. <gasps> oh, good. I thought that was going to be, like, a Mufasa situation. We can't beat him without you! Twilight doesn't care about Discord, she just knows they need him to win. You couldn't beat me with him either. <laughs> I have defeated you, and Rock's here. Now watch as I sit here and chuckle evilly. <laughs> Your first episode, you never said anything, and now you won't shut up. Can you find a balance? I have nothing left to give. How freaking right. I certainly don't need the elements. I don't know about the... If it's not confirmed that he's just putting on a show to teach them a lesson or something, 
I'll just have to accept that into my head cannon, because I, I won't have it any other way. Rarity. You'll always be generous. I like how Sombra's just kind of standing there going. Sombra's just sitting back there like, hello, this is about me. Sombra, now, now would be a good time to attack. I'm just going to sit here and watch the theatrics. And Rainbow Dash. You'll always be worthless. You're an asshole. And Twilight. You suck. You are so hilarious when you freak out. You are my friend. Always will be the embodiment of anxiety, mood swings, twilighting. That's who you are. That's really sweet. Very touching. I actually, that's probably one of my favorite speeches. Anyone else get a cue talking to Picard vibe here? I'm not afraid of what you can do. I'm not afraid anymore. Do you hear me? I'M NOT AFRAID ANYMORE! Or how much power you have. You should be. That looks kind of a cool line. You may knock us down, but we're gonna get back up again. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You ain't never gonna make me down. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You are never gonna keep me down. And again. Oh my god, Yas Queen! <laughs> oh wow, she just bit slapped that magic. <laughs> Ooh, Spicy hair flip. Ooh, magical slap. Darling, that hair flip though. Yeah, I'm calling it now. That glorious main flick is the highlight of the entire season. For our home! For Equestria! For Fortnite! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Your magic can't defeat mine! <laughs> it's not fair! It's not fair! It's not fair! Mommy! I've got a dirty thumb. Twilight Sparkle is sparkling. Friendship is magic! They said it! They said it! They said it! They said it! Oh my god! Oh my god! They said it! They said it! They said it! Oops. They said it! It happened! Roll the credits! Damn! Ooh. Damn! 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 Is he dead? <laughs> oh wow! That whoo! He was obliterated. <laughs> this is a kid show. Remember? I don't think he's coming back from that. Like I, Grogar didn't resurrect him. Oh my god! I think wow! They pulled the Storm King on us. They fried his ass. Dispel. Jeez, they're just all about murdering their villains, but I'm about that. I'm about that, so... But seriously, damn, though. That was fantastic. Like, everyone was talking about, like, the last time he died, he, he broke up into, like, pieces, right? But this time, they went all in. They just made him melt, like... Like, they're trying to outdo themselves, and I love it. I wonder if, somehow, uh, the Mean Six episode played into this, because Mean Six, of course, leaked, and uh, we got to see a glimpse of a more graphic melting scene. And it was uh, pretty clear that Hasbro had him tone it down for the final release. And I wonder if this scene right here with Sombra was kind of a result of the fans' re fans' reaction to toning it down. And they, they didn't tone this down at all. <laughs> that was a fan of snap right there. I don't feel so good. There's Scootaloo! That's two times in one story there's been a... Fix everything! Yay, everyone's cute again! Again. Oh, everything's wrong? Me. Nee. Taxes. <laughs> I fixed taxes. Do you want more juice? Only if it's not too much trouble. And then I'd like a glass of water. I like my men like I like my drinks. Strong, dark, and under an umbrella. And two cherries. No, no, actually, make it three. Why don't you just ask for like a whole fucking meal while you're at it? some donuts. There it is. Yeah, he did. Questria deserves some pony much better than me as its leader. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, <laughs> take it, take it by, little, little pony. About one thing. A good leader knows when to ask for help. That's what made me such a good leader. Because I asked you for help all the time. <laughs> Great leader has the courage to admit when they've made a mistake. <laughs> Celestia, given your track record, I don't think you should say that. That you will be a great leader. 
will be. But Twilight wanted the throne now. It may have been a bit unfair to thrust this upon you. Yeah, think. You think? You think? You think? Yeah. It's downright unprofessional to spring this on Twilight like some kind of sick joke when all of Equestria is on the line. Oh, thank goodness. Thank Celestia. Oh, I, I, I mean, uh, I pretended to be very hurt and gave one of the most convincing speeches of my life. Pretended? <sighs> I knew it. Obviously. You didn't get me. You thought you got me. I, I think we all called that one, but I've never been happier to have my prediction come true. I'm still really happy that they established that it was obvious that he was faking because that's just fantastic. It's been I love Discord. <laughs> Look at AJ's face. <laughs> AJ, 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 AJ's face. face. She is so gonna get him for this. Honestly, I don't know why I even bother. What a dickhead. I entirely sympathize with Discord. He could have ended the whole Sombra thing whenever he wanted. But he didn't because he cares. Shut up, Fluttershy. Sure, Fluttershy, let's go with that. That's Discord for ya. This is why she's my favorite. I feel like she has the, the reactions that I would have. Super odd dude. Well, there's the pot calling the kettle pink. I heard that. Callback! Callback. Awesome callback. Celestia and I had fun today, fighting side by side with Star Swirl for our home. It's been years since we've gotten to do what you girls do. It's so much fun seeing like our home all in danger and stuff, and we gotta save it. We also lost our benefits, and we realized we don't have another job lined up, so. <laughs> How is this not insulting to the main sex? Wait a minute. What, 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 what's the... <sighs> Luna and Celestia are literally demeaning everything that they've done. Like, I get, like, the whole, like, oh, no, no, they were doing it to help prepare them. But they're literally like, oh, this was a jolly <laughs> it's good time. It's just a roll. It, it was just fun. Oh, come on. Now my head headcanon of Luna being the goddess of war of all of Equestria is just shot, shot to heck. Some of the stuff the main six have been through... And, and they're actually finding out right now, while it's not being treated that way, that essentially it was all just a test. We definitely got this. Da -da 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 -da. We got this. Da -da 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 -da. We got this together. <laughs> we got this together. It is the festival of friendship. Da -da 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 -da. Aww. Everyone loves each other again. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom! You say something nice about changelings. I'm looking forward to these three. When did we have group therapy sessions? Of course Cozy would be instigating this kind of shit. Did he succeed? Dude, read the room. Krogar's weird orb thing apparently has Netflix. Nice. I'd say he gambled and lost. Loser. He can serve as a warning to those who doubt continuing with my plans. Whoa, did he die? Did that actually kill him? Sombra is gone, gone. I and mean, if they killed him, that's pretty intense. Uh, no, I. No, I'm good. Are you though? I don't have any doubts, but I do need some Ricola. Work together to bring Equestria to its knees. They have assembled the most evil beings imaginable. <laughs> Tyrannic, the Lord of Darkness. Christmas deceiver of all, and the kindergartner. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be able to look at eyes the same way again. Pun intended. Oh man, is an old Grandpa Santa gonna be the freaking villain for this season? I am hyped. This is good. My plan to defeat the main six and co company will be definitely be the one that will win definitely this time. Just give me 24 episodes to prepare first. <laughs> then all the villains loved him as they chuckled awkwardly. Grogar the evil reindeer, he'll go down in his story. <laughs> Quite the setup here for the final season of Generation 4. Oh man! It's. Fuck, I'm actually hyped for season 9 now. If that's the season opener, I'm excited to see what's gonna come. Us fans just never get what we want because we always change what we want and never want what we get, even if we wanted it. Please call the. Please, please, please get a life hotline.
Don't worry, Twilight. Instead of putting you immediately into power, we'll give you some time to prepare. Including... It's time to learn about taxes!